people are a trip, especially when they bring certain things to your attention, it fucks your spirit up. And I don't want to hear it because you let it. How the fuck am I supposed to react when someone tells you you're obese? You should consider gastric bypass surgery. Oh, you won't live in the next 15, in the next 15 years, you're not going to survive. If I was 300 and some odd pounds, I wouldn't be able to carry all that weight. Blah, 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 you know? Fucking bullshit. And then act like you care. Cannot believe I cried to that fucking gynecologist today. What kind of shit is that? No, I'm not going to do anything funny to myself, you guys. I just needed to get this out of me because this has been weighing heavily and I'm just, I even said on my Facebook, you know, I never thought I would ever say this about my appointment, but fuck my life. I just don't like being in pain. I don't like these periods. And I got a confession. I might as well get this off out of my chest. Off of my chest out of me, whatever, because I said this on Facebook and on Twitter, I might as well say it on YouTube, confession, I love kids, you know, since this has something to do with cramps and, you know, and, and periods and, you know, children and, and, and all the, the process of, of it all when it comes to being a woman, love children, I noticed that I've gotten way better with children because years ago I was very nervous around children. I was very impatient around children. You know, I was like a child. Yikes, you know. But now, you know, I'm, I'm, I've gotten way better with children now. I'm, you know, feel more comfortable. But this was a random fact. Uh, my bad. This was a random fact that I should have fucking added. And I was originally going to add that, but I didn't. Because I don't want nobody fucking judging me. But I might as well tell you guys. I don't want kids. I don't want kids. I don't want to have any kids. I don't want a ready-made family. I don't want no kids. Period. Period. I, I don't want no no family. I don't want no children. I don't want a ready-made family. A, I repeat, excuse me, and I don't want someone to force feed me to, you know, you should have children, you should have kids, you should have this and that, de, de, de. children are beautiful, children are, de, de. you know, don't, 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 okay, alright, this is my fucking body, okay, if I don't feel comfortable carrying a child for nine whole months and finding out that my child has the same fucking learning disability that I do and having to go through the shit that I went through, no, 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 not just that. I, I just, I don't want any kids, period. There, I said it. You know, I always keep it raw and real. So here it is, raw and real, raw and direct. I was really contemplating on doing something very fucking stupid, but I'm glad I didn't. And I guess being on, being on camera with this flip video on YouTube or wherever is very therapeutical. I'm glad I got this off my chest because oh and if you want to know what an empath is it's short for empathetic which I did just find out through a really good friend of mine a few days ago so you're probably wondering oh now oh no wonder you're so sensitive you're no wonder you're this and that no wonder you you know, I'll post the link or whatever. It's just look up Dr. Orloff. She'll, you know, 
she explains everything about the whole thing about being an empath because that's what she is basically it's similar to being a um an introvert so but um in conclusion of this very emotional video um this this really reminds me of the the video that I did it was audio um my secret tag audio version the one that has over three three hundred freaking views I must have reached out to a lot of people I I'm pretty 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 shocked that it has gotten that many views someone someone has taken the time to actually listen to what the fuck I have to say about me it was hard to to just get that off my chest but I I'm glad I did and this this is one of the most emotional videos I've ever made about my reality my truth myself he did um, my gynecologist however said one particular thing whatever you're going through now and from this point on is a journey it is a journey if you fuck up you get to pick yourself up and try it again but this is going to be a very hard journey for me in the months to come with this pain knowing that I got to figure out a way to grab it by the fucking balls and squeeze it and throw it out and in this weight I think I've said enough I'll be alright what I'm just going through is a fucking process thank you for taking the time to listen to what I have to say more than likely this will be in like two or three parts if I post this but um I'm out yeah I'm out you know who I am and you know who this is peace